Traders War Room wants to thank you, the viewer, for coming along with us on this journey. Please check out the description tab as it has an overview of content on the channel and some links for resources and online brokerage. Thank you. What is up team? Chuck with Traders War Room and I'm back at you with another video. Listen, hey, sorry I haven't been as active with the video. Work has been killer, okay? Just kind of like this marketplace, man. You know, we've been getting slammed, dunked and everything. And you know, the marketplace has been doing the same thing. I've been sending out alerts as much as possible. We got some movers and some shakers and we got a little bit of rebound, it looks like, in a few sectors. But we're going to talk all about it in this video, okay? And we're going to go over a little bit of charts. And we're going to talk about a couple calls that I made today that did fairly well if you paid attention and entered, entered and exited at the right time. But what I need you to do right now is like, share, subscribe, join the team, join the community. Come with us, man. Discord, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. There's something out there for everybody. We're about to be going on Instagram and hopefully Snapchat here soon. So we got a lot in store coming. So as always... If you're ready, follow me and let's go to war. Traders War Room wants to remind you, the viewer, that this is for education and entertainment purposes. You are responsible for every move and decision you make within the stock market. Tread cautiously and be careful, but have fun and go to war. Hey team, welcome back. Listen, before we get started, as always, I gotta give a shout out to all the team members out there, okay? You guys truly make this group and the community that we have what it is, all right? Without you guys, we wouldn't be trying as hard to push out great content, all right? You'll notice that a lot of my alerts have kind of slowed down a little bit, okay? Listen, I promised you guys that I'm only going to send out A-plus alerts if I see really good conviction in the stock, okay? Because the stock is so choppy right now, we don't want to navigate crazy waters, all right? So, and on that note, be very cautious when you're starting to get into your plays, okay? I need to reiterate this, and I've said this before, but entry and exit is key in this market. And I want to promise you that if you learn to navigate this market the way it is right now, with it being so volatile and up and down and everything, you'll be able to be just a killer, that much more successful when the market comes back and heats back up and we're on our next bull run. So remember that. But right now, hey, let's get with it with the buzz report, see what's hot and what's not in the stock market. Let's go. Here's your markets, as you see, red across the board. Nothing new, right? Your most active, your top gainers, and your top losers. We're going to talk about OCGN and a couple other ones. But I want you to see some of the activity. Notice that Skills and Neo are back in the mix, okay? So we got to keep watching some of these ones that have been beat up for a while and see how they rebound here in the near future, if they rebound. Boom, I don't see no green, so everything was red. Minerals took the biggest hit, and right above them was energy and information tech. So pretty much all the stuff that a lot of us retail investors are in currently, or have been in for a while and been taking a hit, all took hits again. So, so hopefully we'll get a rebound so we can get back some of our positions tomorrow or next week, but we got to keep watching. It'll rebound eventually, I promise you. So futures are all green, but remember, futures give us a glimpse into the possibility of what will happen tomorrow at market open, but definitely futures have not held up the way they've portrayed themselves, so do not put too much stake into these because the market is still extremely volatile and will do what it does, okay? So, need to keep a good watch, but optimistic viewpoint as of now in the market at opening bell. And something for you to ponder, okay? So, renewable energies and those clean energy stocks, they've been taking a dump and they've been taking a hit, but I want you guys to stay positive on them and have a forward-thinking attitude when you're getting into these stocks. Listen, this is going to happen. There's going to be a lot of administration pushes for this, all right? And it's the climate pollution wants to be cut in half by 2030. So 
who knows the true way of the, how this is going to happen, but definitely there's going to be some movers and there's going to be some winners and losers in the stock. So make sure that you're paying attention to these clean renewable energy stocks. Get in with the good ones. Get in now while they're low. And I would suggest, a, I would suggest if you're going to do call options, do some leaps so that you go further out or buy some shares. You know, try to get 100, 200 shares and hold them for a long hold and just kind of put your feet up and just take a chill pill and relax. Okay, These will start to be making money here in the near future towards the next fiscal year. And I want to provide you with some stocks that you can pause, take a look, and do some research, do some DD on your own with some of the renewable energy stocks. So pause these, take a look at some that strike your price range, you know, maybe a stock that you haven't researched before, and, you know, find a new possibly diamond in the rough. Some more stocks. I want to bring your attention to a couple that have been trending, and you should keep your finger on these ones and put these in your watch list run all right sunworks is another one fuel cell is another one and don't count these ones out that are in the red okay these are all everything's taking a hit okay these are good stocks some of them better than others and these will possibly be good holds in the long run i like goev plug OPTT, that was one that we had in our You Pick It, I Buy It, but it hit that negative 15%. We had to get rid of it, but definitely still watching it. I'm not opposed to bringing it back onto the the team. And a GEVO, all good stocks here. Pay attention to them. See which ones hold the best potential within your price range and your risk tolerance. And I say grab some shares, see what they do, and maybe hold them for a while and see if they pop at any time in the near future. All right, let's talk about a couple of, of calls and uh, alerts that I pushed out today, okay? I pushed one on OCGN, all right? I pushed another one on AT&T or ticker symbol T. I want to talk about these, all right? So let's take a look at the chart. Let's break them down and see what they did today and see if they got potential moving forward. So let's get it. So here's one of the alerts I do on the Discord. You know, I sent out the alert. I told everybody, hey, you know, watch this. It's jumping. I gave the news article like I like to do so people can do their own DD and make a decision. But, you know, I was bullish on this. I went ahead and jumped in with a position and it paid off today. Definitely paid off. So I've played this stock multiple times in the past. I even have a long position in my main portfolio that I'm holding for, you know, the long haul. Definitely, I sold a little bit of my profit today. I took 75% of my profit out when it hit $10 and I was able to double up my money. So not a bad day today at all. I got some extra stock, a little bit that's going to continue to ride in this one, but I expect this to drop and I wouldn't be surprised if we see this below $8.50 moving towards $8 by tomorrow. And here's the news story on why this stock is surging. I'll let you guys take a look at it. I'm sure if you guys are into the stock, you already know why. But, you know, pause this, read this, and do your own DD to find out more details on OCGN and see if it's a long hold for you in the future. Next one, I jumped into AT&T, and I got in with a $30.50 call, 23 April. Now, this one started rising pretty quick, and then it kind of came back down and then started consolidating like AT&T normally does. I'm still bullish on this. A lot of good news with AT&T as far as 5G and infrastructure, but there was some negative sentiment today, which I think dropped the whole market for 5G and wireless, wireless connectivity and uh, wireless infrastructure and stuff like that. So here's the stock. Now I bought in to be for that 940 time frame when it shot up. You know, it's hard sometimes when I throw my alerts out there because I don't always get the alert out in time or I might be busy when I'm purchasing in or I get in and then I see it moving. So I'll send out the alert. You know, we're not perfect, but Definitely had an opportunity to make some decent money on that peak and it consolidated. If you notice, it's consolidating pretty hard. So I wouldn't be surprised on this news if we get a spike early in the morning again and this thing goes up before it comes back down. And there's the news from the Wall Street Journal. This is what 
pulled a lot of these 5G network building infrastructure stocks down today. You know, just a little uncertainty as far as supply chain with chip shortages and wireless carriers and upgrades and all this type of stuff. So AT&T saw their pullback but consolidated very nicely as it always does. So not I'm still bullish on this and not worried about this. Like to see this jump in the morning and you know, only time will tell, but I'll definitely alert as always through the Discord and on the Facebook if I see something. And here's another alert we did on Roblox today, okay? We alerted to go put a put on this, and this thing paid off, man. This thing was downtrending. I saw it going down. I figured it had more room to go, and it definitely did. It continued going down, and those that got in this, man, are celebrating tonight because this paid off big time. See the line there? 1300 or so. That's when I gave the alert to throw the put on, and then, man, it just kept declining the whole day. And definitely right there at the 69.11, that would have been the time they pull out because that would give a great double up. Actually, I think it almost went a little bit more than 50%. So congratulations to everyone that got on that. You know, hey, that's what we do. We're reconning, we're surveying, and we're attacking, destroying, and conquering. Let's go to war and get it. All right, up next, one of my favorite segments where I get to try to communicate and push a little of my knowledge out there to the community and try to kind of barnify and simplify questions that you may have all right i call it questions from the front line you guys are the front line troops i'm back here sitting back kind of surveying and reconning the area for you guys so i'm gonna try to answer these questions so let's get with our first question all right our questions from the front line is from redneck trader so chuck i cheated <laughs> this is funny i cheated on you honey I should have used your plays and got ran for not. I'm ready to go back to war and quit these, you know what, bar fights where I'm too drunk to stand. Hey, redneck trader, listen, it happens to us all. It's all good. Thank you for noticing that my alerts are out there trying to make the best bang for our buck. Listen, we're all doing our own thing, trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents, right? And this market is extremely volatile right now. And so if you find something good somewhere else, hey, send it my way too, man. I want in. So we are all working together, creating that shared learning and shared experience type of community. And that's the end goal of this whole thing, all right? So do your thing. Thank you. And I'll keep putting A-plus alerts out there. I'm not going to put any BS alerts, all right? Every alert I put out there is trying to give you guys the most bang for your buck and the best potential to make money so that we can get to our portfolio satisfaction in the end, and that's financial freedom, all right? So appreciate it. Good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Hey, video's a wrap. Listen, I want to reiterate again. We need to be patient in this market, okay? Do not get bored trading, all right? And what I mean by bored trading is you're used to these, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50%, you know, gains, you know, maybe even 100% gains. And so you're not seeing that type of action, that price action, okay? And so you're just hopping into anything that fluctuates, all right? Look, the stock market is tricky, okay? There's going to be a lot of dead cat bounces. We talked about it. There's going to be a lot of falling knives currently, and you're going to see a lot of pump and dumps. Okay. These institutional buyers, they know that we're bored out there and we're not seeing the market move. So anytime something starts shooting up, people are jumping in and then all of a sudden it just tanks and they're sitting there like, oh my God, I just hopped in at like $10 high and this thing's $6. And now you're carrying that gap of $4 per share. Okay. So don't be that one. All right. Make sure you got great setups, okay? A-plus setups, all right? If you see something shooting straight up, don't get in at the top, okay? Wait for that thing to start bottom out because it will pull back, all right? Unless it's a super, like, something like uh, you saw that one that uh, had the cure for cancer or, you know, was on the path for cure for cancer. You saw that thing shoot right up from, like, $10 all the way up to, like, 150 bucks, all right? Those are supernovas, all right? No one can call those, all right? They just happen. And if you're in it, hey, great. But if not, you know, don't chase it, okay? Because you're going to get burned, all right? So we want to be cautious. We want to be patient. And we want to make sure that we got great indicators, great entry and exit points, and A-plus setups so that we get the best bang for our buck, okay? Now, as I always say, Traders War Room, we look at the stock market as a war zone. 
the stocks and the sectors, those are our battles. And more now than ever, it is a battle zone out there, okay? We're attacking, destroying, and we're conquering, all right? And even if we're not conquering in a way of like, we're going out there and killing them, man, we're getting conquering in our minds. We're learning a lot so that when the market does rebound, we're able to just kill it, all right? We're recon, we're surveying, we're looking for A-plus setups so we can get the best bang for our buck and the most out of our plays. Now, I say this and I truly mean this. If you're ready, follow me and let's go to war.